All right, so this is going to be, I guess, day one of the teardown. I did take, take a few things off yesterday. Uh, intake manifold, exhaust manifold with the turbo. Um, I got the clutch flywheel out. And all the coolant bypass hoses. Uh, I'm just going to get it ready so I can put it on the stand. It'll be a lot easier to work on instead of having to crouch around the hoist and I can tuck that away and get some more room in here so this is where we're at she's dirty um, everything is pretty straightforward I mean one bolt at a time I lay everything together uh, kind of in order of what it's got to go back in I uh, put plastic bags, all the bolts in the plastic bags, and kind of just put it with the part. So, now let's get at her. Let's put her on the stand, get rid of this hoist. So, I've got the engine pulled right apart. Everything is sitting kind of in alphabetical order. I'm going to have a quick look here and show you guys what happened. So, we pulled the uh, cylinder, or the piston, out of the cylinder that was having a low compression issue. Here it is here. Bring it into the light. And as you can see, we toasted it really good. Thankfully, this whole section here was all still together. Uh, all the chunks are on the floor. After we pulled the rings out, um, this just all came apart. So it is what it is. Fortunately, the block seems to be okay. So I've already gone ahead and sprayed it with uh, some rust inhibitor. It's kind of hard to see. I'll get some better light on it. Maybe take some pictures, throw it in there. But there's just a very faint bit of scoring on there and a bit of scorching up here. But that was where all the low buy was going. So everything else seems to be good, but we're going to pull it right apart and put some new pistons and rods in it, rings, bearings, gaskets. Hopefully have this thing back together within the next month or two. So There's the head. All the valve lash was good. We tested it. And Seems to be fine, so. So I've got three of the four pistons out. Just wanted to show you guys what you gotta do to get them out. It's pretty simple. Just undo the uh, two rod cap nuts with your uh, fingers. Just kidding, you gotta get a breaker in there. Break them off uh, very lightly and evenly. Tighter than that one was. I'm 
All right, she ain't moving. Grab your hammer. Very gently. Blam. That's forward. No, I'm going to set you up for this one. Push on her. Did that bearing come out with it still on the rod? Push. So, center cap on the crank. This is the front of the engine. So the center, the center one. Thrust washer is on that side. And it's facing up like that the other one this one's actually stuck in the cap so they're on both sides it looks like to me so we're gonna keep going So I got the block all cleaned up, kind of masked off to flash some quick engine enamel on it. So I just put the tape on there and scrape the edges. You guys know what's up. Just going to put a coat of black on it, freshen up the look a little bit. So I've got... Uh, CPA pistons and Eagle H beam rods coming from Real Street. Everything else came today though. So I got a gasket kit, full gasket kit, you know, head gasket included as well. Um, timing belt. I already did all my water pump and all of that like about 4,000 kilometers ago. So I've got head bolts. I've got bearings got rod bearings and main bearings thrust washers um yeah so everything else is just waiting to arrive just gonna do some cleanup clean everything really good 
might polish the intake. It's just really nasty. So everything just laying about. It does have a what is it, an ASIN clutch? So I probably won't need to get another clutch. I'll just run with that one for now. It looks pretty good. Gotta clean all the pipes out. And I actually gotta pull the intercooler out still and clean that out really good. Other than that, that's where we are at. Well, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but I did get the block painted. Just letting her air dry right now. And once that's done, I'm going to do a little bit of honing. Get this thing uh, ready for the pistons as soon as they get here.